word of unfailing love Ezra chapter 6 then Darius the king made a decree and search was made in Babylonia in the house of the archives where the documents were stored and in Ekbatana the capital that is in the province of Media a scroll was found on which this was written a record in the first year of Cyrus the king Cyrus the king issued a decree concerning the house of God at Jerusalem let the house be rebuilt the place where sacrifices were offered and let its foundations be retained its height shall be 60 cubits and its breadth 60 cubits uh, with three layers with three layers of great stones and one layer of timber let the cost be paid from the royal treasury and also let the gold and silver vessels of the house of god which nebuchadnezzar took out of the temple that is in jerusalem and brought to babylon be restored and brought back to the temple that is in jerusalem each to its place you shall put them in the house of god now therefore tatenai the governor of the province beyond the river shetar bojenai and your associates the governors who are in the province beyond the river keep away leave the work on this house of god alone let the governor of the jews and the elders of the jews rebuild this house of god on its site moreover i make a decree regarding what you shall do for these elders of the jews for the rebuilding of this house of god the cost is to be paid to this man in full and without delay from the royal revenue the tribute of the province from beyond the river and whatever is needed bulls rams or sheep for burnt offerings to the god of heaven wheat salt wheat salt wine or oil as the priest at jerusalem require let that be given to them day by day without fail that they may offer pleasing sacrifices to the god of heaven and pray for the life of the king and his sons also i make a decree that if anyone alters this edict a beam shall be pulled out of his house and he shall be impaled on it and his house shall be made a dunghill may the god who has caused his name to dwell there overthrow any king or people who shall put out a hand to alter this or to destroy this house of god that is in jerusalem i darius make a decree let it be done with all diligence then according to the words sent by darius the king tatanai the governor of the province beyond the river shetar bojenai and their associates did with all diligence what darius the king had ordered and the elders of the jews built and prospered through the prophesying of haggai the prophet and zechariah the son of iddo they finished their building by decree of the god of israel and by decree of cyrus and darius and artaxerxes king of persia and this house was finished on the third day of the month of adar in the 6th year of the reign of 
Darius the king and the people of Israel the priests and the levites and the rest of the returned exiles celebrated the dedication of this house of god with joy they offered at the dedication of this house of god 100 bulls 200 rams 400 lambs and as a sin offering for all israel 12 male goats according to the number of the tribes of israel and they set the priests in their divisions and the levites in their divisions for the service of god at jerusalem as it is written in the book of moses on the 14th day of the first month the returned exiles kept the passover for the priests and the levites had purified themselves together all of them were clean so they slaughtered the passover lamb for all the returned exiles for their fellow priests and for themselves it was eaten by the people of israel who had returned from exile and also by everyone who had joined them and separated himself from the uncleanness of the peoples of the land to worship the lord the god of israel and they kept the feast of unleavened bread for 7 days with joy for the lord had made them joyful and had turned the heart of the king of assyria to them so that he aided them in the work of the house of god the god of israel Ezra chapter 7 Now after this in the reign of Artaxerxes king of Persia Ezra the son of Seraya son of Azariah son of Hilkia son of Shallum son of Jadok son of Ahitub son of Amaria son of Azariah son of Merayoth son of Zerahiah son of Uzzi son of Bukki son of Abishua son of Pineha son of Eleazar son of Aaron the chief priest this Ezra went up from Babylonia He was a scribe skilled in the law of Moses that the Lord the God of Israel had given and the king granted him all that he asked for the hand of the Lord his God was on him and there went up also to Jerusalem in the 7th year of Artaxerxes the king some of the people of Israel and some of the priests and levites the singers and gatekeepers and the temple servants and Ezra came to Jerusalem in the 5th month which was in the 7th year of the king for the first year of the first month he began to go up from babylonia and on the first day of the 5th month he came to Jerusalem for the good hand of his god was on him for ezra had set his heart to study the law of the lord and to do it and to teach his statutes and rules in israel this is a copy of the letter that king artaxerxes gave to ezra the priest the scribe a man learned in matters of the commandments of the lord and his statutes for israel artaxerxes the king of kings to ezra the priest the scribe of the law of the god of heaven peace and now
I make a decree that any one of the people of Israel or their priests or Levites in my kingdom who freely offers to go to Jerusalem may go with you. For you are sent by the king and his seven counselors to make inquiries about Judah and Jerusalem according to the law of your God which is in your hand and also to carry the silver and gold that the king and his counselors have freely offered to the God of Israel whose dwelling is in Jerusalem with all the silver and gold that you shall find in the whole province of Babylonia and with the free will offerings of the people and the priests vowed willingly for the house of their God that is in Jerusalem. With this money then you shall with all diligence buy bulls, rams and lambs and their grain offerings and their drink and their drink offerings and you shall offer them in the and you shall offer them on the altar of the house of your God that is in Jerusalem. Whenever whatever seems good to you and your brothers to do with the rest of the silver and gold you may do according to the will of your God. The vessels that have been given to you for the service of the house of your God you shall deliver before the God of Jerusalem and whatever else is required for the house of your God which it falls to you to provide, you may provide it out of the king's treasury. And I, Atakshoresh the king, make a decree to all the treasures in the province beyond the river, whatever Ejra the priest, the scribe of the law of the God of heaven, requires of you, let it be done with all diligence up to hundred talons of silver, hundred cores of wheat, hundred baths of wine, hundred baths of oil, and salt without prescribing how much. Whatever is decreed by the God of heaven, let it be done in full for the house of the God of heaven, lest his wrath be against the realm of the king and his sons. We also notify you that it shall not be lawful to impose tribute, custom or toll on any of the priests, the Levites, the singers, the doorkeepers, the temple servants or other servants in this house of God. And you, Ezra, according to the wisdom of your God that is in your hand, appoint magistrates and judges who may judge all the people in the province beyond the river, all such as know the laws of your God. And those who do not know them you shall teach. Whoever will not obey the law of your God and the law of the king, let judgment be strictly executed on him, whether for death or for banishment or for confiscation of his goods and or for imprisonment. Blessed be the Lord, the God of our fathers, who put such a thing as this into the heart of the king to beautify the house of the Lord that is in Jerusalem, and who extended to me his steadfast love before the king and his counselors and before all the king's mighty officers. I took courage, for the hand of the Lord my God was on me, and I gather leading men from Israel to go up with me.